Now for this first tip, I'm going to take you into Consulate and we're going to be in Garage. Now, Consulate, it's an amazing map if you truly do learn it and I'll demonstrate why right here. When you go basement, you want to take yourself into cafeteria right here. And all you want to do, jump up on top of this table here, uncrouch, and get to shooting. You want to shoot all the way through the cabinet here, yellow ping, through the cabinet, and then make a hole in the soft hole there. Now, when you get back on this cabinet now, you'll have a disgusting angle all the way back into the basement garage door. Now, from the attacker's point of view, this is impossible to fight back. Because, I mean, look at it. It's, just, it's literally just a tiny gap. That's where your head is. Tiny little gap. And they've got to either pre-fire that or have you pre-droned out. Otherwise, you're getting a free kill because it's a disgusting off angle. Sometimes it can be hard to line up. And I'm making it as wide as possible just so it's easier to see, but you can make it tight as possible here. It's an insane angle, and honestly, when I use this in ranked, I usually get a kill at least once every game from this. So, next time you're in consulate, make sure you do use this angle in cafeteria that looks all the way into the garage door. Now, if you enjoyed that consulate tip, you're going to enjoy the rest of this video. If you're new around here, I'm new too. I make a bunch of tips videos literally every week, so if you're new, make sure you do like and subscribe. Go follow my Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok all in the description of this video. And without wasting any more time, let's get into the rest of these tips. Now, for this next angle, I'm going to be taking us over to border. Now, it's going to be only effective, really, when you're attacking back from tellers. And this is going to give you a deep angle from outside on the south balcony all the way down next to the windows on the teller's wall. Now, if you didn't know, when a roamer comes back to site, it's oftentimes they'll run down through a waiting room down the east stairs here, come all the way around and then jump through this window here. However, we're going to cut this off from outside in a safe position. As you can see, there I am through the wall on the butt. You want to break the barricade, pull out your skeleton key, and shot on the floor. Now, when the wall gets opened up as well, by a thermite or an ace or whatever happens, you can get a deep angle all the way down into sight as well. Meaning in a post-plight scenario, if you plant, oh shit, if you plant here, and you open up effectively, if you can make your way all the way back outside the mat, onto this doorway, you have an unfightable angle. Like, this is so unfightable, you can even go deeper with this shit. This is an insane angle that everyone should know about, and, like, literally no one knows about. And it was super effective in the Grand Finals most recent major in Manchester, where East Coast versus BDS, and BDS actually took advantage of us. I'm pretty sure Shaiko took advantage of us to get a pit onto someone on the Beast Coast team. Unfortunately, he did lose the map. It literally just happened there as the time of recording this, but... It's still an insanely good angle that you should know about the next time you play on border and you're attacking tellers and bathrooms. So let's move on to the next tip. The next up, we're on Emo Plains. Everyone's least favourite map, and for good reason. However, I'm going to give you a Zami strat that may make this map a little bit more bearable than it was before. When you're on a Zami and you're defending admin and CEO, you're going to come into hunting hall here, go throw a Kiba on the chandelier here, then another one at the bottom, like that. This now blocks the line of sight from this window onto the admin door. So, you can throw your another Azami on the admin door. Give me a deployable shield to play behind. And now you have a one way onto anyone that jumps in the hunting hallway window. And free kills, honestly. Of course, you could put this a little bit higher so you get a deeper angle, which is probably what I recommend. But I'm an idiot and I fucked it up. But you're not done yet. You have two other key buyers for a reason. You could either pocket them to repair your setup or you can come into CEO and give a setup for another player to play behind. You're gonna throw your first Azami, like so. Now, at first glance, this Azami looks absolutely horrific, but at the new two channel, we aren't horrific. We're actually the best players in the game. And you're gonna throw your second Azami at the bottom of the first one. So now you can play behind the CEO desk without being able to just be dead immediately by a couple wall bangs because you have this Azami strat to play behind. You can peek left, you can peek right, you can play under, and you can even contest the clock hallway door from inside CEO, meaning the setup for your second player isn't as good as the first setup for admin looking into hunting. However, it's still a viable choice, I would say, for any defender that's looking for it to set up to make CEO a more playable site, because typically, you'd extend into meeting, and then put head holes on the meeting wall here that look onto the CEO window. But it just means that you need to defend painting, which painting can be a bit of a nuisance to defend because of how big it is and how many, you know, breakable 
walls there is here. So the next time you're on Emerald Plains, make sure you use a CEO admin strat to get some free wins. Now for this next angle, we're going to be on the theme park, control room, and we have a little innocent horky outside. Now what I want you to do is to break with your bailiff or any secondary shotgun or even impact grenades, break holes in the floor right here and you'll see the topless barricade and it's literally as simple as that because next time any attacker tries to jump in the barricade like so, you'll get a free kill. It's as simple. What I would recommend is you play this angle when you're defending throne room armory because this is a common vault through spot. So let's move on to the next map. Now for this next tip, it's going to be a simple one again but I'm taking it down into bank garage and as we all know defending garage as a defender is pretty horrible because you have to play either behind this wheel here or this wheel here on this fan and that's it. Meanwhile the attackers can peek from anywhere in this room. So I'm going to be giving you an uncommon off angle that rarely gets checked. Now for this spot I would recommend you play vigil because if you get droned you're cooked. And all you want to do is go prone. Aim for your moshi right here and then activate your ability. Now when a drone comes driving by you will not be able to get detected because you're prone and you're not moving and you stay ADS whilst you have the vigil ability activated. So when an attacker pushes you can get a free kill, you can see him all the way back and he'll hardly ever check you. And I missed. Thank god. Holy shit, I'm horrible at this game. Hey, all you gotta do is just shoot as soon as you see them swing. But we're not done yet with bank. Now since we're still on bank, I wanna tell you about my favourite run out, possibly in the game. And it's gonna be when you're defending the top floor on bank and you have an orcs on your team. As orc, can you stop throwing EMPs, you fuck? When you're on orc, you gotta come down into garage and jump on this camera here. And if you hear anyone repel or get a call out from your team that someone's in repel lobby, you're gonna come here and dash out look left and get a kill. This is so unexpected, there's usually no claymores or nomads here to watch over this run out. It's only able to be done by one character, so as long as you don't get droned and red pinged, you're probably just gonna get a free pick every round. So, in a full motion, it looks up like this. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh, <laughs> oh my. Yeah, oh, delete nah. it bro, delete it. Delete nah. it. Nah. Bro, you still on controller, bro. Nah, nah, chill, 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 no, chill, like chill, 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 first game on, first game on. The first game on. First. <laughs> now for this next tip, it's going to be across any map in the game. And that's going to be any map with a skylight. Usually in the past, when you repel from skylight, it's been a death sentence. However, recently, Siege decided to rework the repel system. Now, repels are almost instantaneous. So, we can take advantage of this and get free kills. If you set a drone up from the top where you see my name is, you can jump it onto any of this little, I, I don't know what you call it, like lining design on the wall. You can get your drone across it. And with this drone, we can get angles onto the entirety of walkway. Or, if you don't want to waste a drone, you can always shoot a zero cam. And now you have complete LOS of the entirety of walkway. So. After we pinpoint where our free kill is, we're going to yellow ping them, repel down, instantly, free kill, and then repel back up. The only way I would see you ever dying on this angle is if they've already prepared for it. So what I would recommend you do is next time you go to do it. The only thing I'd recommend is if you're going to repel down skylights, I would recommend you have either a Doki B call or an Ash or something like that. Try to take a gunfight with whoever's on walkway. So you get a pince for free, like a free pince, because they can just walk out, back out the map, and you can just repel back up if it all goes south. So again, all it takes, pulling down spacebar or X or A on your controller, and okay. So let's move on to the final tip of the video. Now for this final tip, it's going to be how to counter impact tracking across any map. Now if you're on Habana and someone's trying to impact track a hatch, I see a lot of players just shooting the Herbana challenges over and over again at the hatch until they stop impact tracking. However, that is a dumb play to make because Ubisoft gave you the option to shoot either 6, 4 and 2 for a reason. Albeit, I don't think it was intentional to counter impact tracking, but you know, it's still an option. What to do is, if you know someone's impact tracking or a good habit build is just to always throw two at a time when you're playing Habana. Unless they've got a cake on it, then obviously do throw four, and then if they impact track, throw two. Just shoot two at a time at the hatch, and activate them to bait out the impacts, like so. See, that's the first impact gone. Going again. That's the second impact gone. 
So now all we gotta do, shoot four, and that's the hatch guaranteed open. And look how many we have left. We have four in the chamber, six left over. So, theoretically speaking, we could get this hatch as well, and we can also get the hatch inside stock. This meaning that all the important hatches are open, and we still have two left over to maybe get onto the church wall. So that's going to be the end of the video, you guys. If you did enjoy, please like and subscribe. Go follow my Twitch, Twitter, and TikTok on the description of this video. Thanks to Harky. Where is he? Harky! Yo. Where are you? Where the fuck are Hi, you? <laughs> Thanks to Harky for having this video. He's desperate to play rank now. Yeah, rank time. Rank time. About to carry you new to you. Yo! That because I'm black, bro. No, nah, no, nah, don't say Thank you guys for watching, I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs>